Ever wonder who would win if you put all the Hashira in a pit and had them duke it out? Well, look no further. Grab some popcorn, sit back, and get ready to argue in the comments about our Demon Slayer rankings, because it's about to get real. Now, Shinobu might not be the strongest physically, but she more than makes up for it with her speed and precision. One of Shinobu's most notable battles was against the spider demon Rui, who is a powerful demon known for his formidable strength and agility, making him a tough opponent for anyone to take on. Using her insect breathing technique, Shinobu was easily able to outmaneuver Rui and strike him with precision, taking him down with ease. Her speed and agility proved to be too much for Rui to handle, and she was able to defeat him and protect her fellow Hashira. We also learned that although she is unable to behead her opponents, she uses a special wisteria extracted poison to take down demons. This battle was a testament to Shinobu's technical skill as a fighter, and it solidified her as one of the most formidable Hashira in the Demon Slayer core. Just uh, don't let her cute appearance fool you. She is a demon slaying machine. The distant and mysterious mist Hashira, Muichiro Tokito, is introduced earlier on as a young character with his head in the clouds. This airheaded demeanor is totally thrown out the window when you realize that Muichiro achieved his rank after only two months, a feat only accomplished by one other Hashira. The particularly impressive Muichiro also developed his own skill within the mist breathing technique. The obscuring clouds technique shows his skills on full display play with a baffling amount of precision over his speed. This skill alternates between extremely slow and quick movements that confuse the enemy and allow him to attack in an instant if they show any hesitation. He's also skilled in the use of his bright red Nichiren blade, which is only wielded by those who have awakened their Demon Slayer mark. As the love Hashira, Mitsuri is no joke when it comes to fighting demons. The fact that she not only learned flame breathing techniques, but also developed her own fighting style to fully maximize her potential should tell you all you need to know about Mitsuri. With a Nichiren sword resembling a whip and well above average flexibility, she is able to maneuver in a difficult to counter way, making her one tough cookie to fight. Originally, Mitsuri joined the Hashira in order to find a husband who could outperform her in terms of strength. This uh, proved to be a pretty difficult task because of her immense level of brute strength. Despite a thin exterior, her muscles are actually eight times as dense as an average human, and it's necessary for her to eat as much as approximately three sumo wrestlers to maintain her physique. Ultimately, finding a good match worked out for her in the end, but we have to admit that those are some high standards. Obanai, the rule-abiding serpent Hashira, may not have the most conventional fighting style, but his snake-related techniques are definitely something to behold. Iguro was able to achieve his rank with only one functioning eye, a limitation that could leave some vulnerable in a battle. He's also not the strongest physically, and he has a small stature. All these traits that would normally set someone back were not an issue for Iguro. His strict training and harsh mentality, paired with an incredible amount of endurance and speed, push him into the sixth spot on this list. Though he may not be the strongest of the Hashira, he was a major contributor when it came to bringing down Muzan in the end. It just goes to show that raw strength isn't everything. You need technique and stamina to be a good demon slayer. Now, this doesn't come without personality flaws, however, as Obanai can be standoffish to those he perceives to be mentally weak. Certainly the flashiest character out of the bunch, Tengen Uzui is the sound Hashira and also a demon slayer to be reckoned with. When he isn't boasting loudly about flamboyance and festivals or something, Uzui takes the top spot when it comes to speed and number two in brute strength. He may be hiding some inferiority complex issues underneath the confident front, but he actually does have the skills to back up all his claims. With his sound breathing technique, he uses an acute sense of hearing to pull off superhuman feats like echolocation, as well as produce explosive sound waves that do some serious damage to his opponents. Even after losing a hand and being severely poisoned, Uzui is able to stand his ground in a fight with Gyutaro, an upper rank demon who had defeated countless demon slayers. Despite his battle prowess though, Uzui does eventually end up retiring from his position as a Hashira after taking some serious damage due to his desire to spend more time with his family. This drew criticism from Obanai, but we think he made the right choice. 
The hot-headed wind Hashira Sanemi is, like his fellow Hashira, an incredibly skilled combatant with a wide array of techniques. One of the things that sets him apart as a character is his no-nonsense attitude. He is always ready for a fight and doesn't mince words when it comes to dealing with demons. In fact, he's been known to get a little carried away in battle, as evidenced by the time he almost took off his own arm while fighting a demon. Whoops. Fueled by his intense hatred of demons and an explosive temper, his intense fighting style has leveled thousands of lower rank opponents. Wielding another bright red Nichiren blade imbued with the power of wind, Sanemi has an excessive amount of strength and jaw-dropping reflexes that make him basically untouchable to the majority of demons. What puts him higher up on this list was an incredible fight against upper rank one Kokushibo despite grave injuries. The fact that he was able to hold his own in this battle, albeit with some help, truly demonstrated the breadth of his skill and endurance, and after the fight finished, he recovered quickly to immediately go up against Muzan. It was also during this fight that he awakened his own Demon Slayer mark, significantly increasing his physical capabilities. Plus, he underwent some serious character development, from grumpy around the clock to a mellow, well-rounded friend to his fellow Hashira. Even though it's a strength ranking list, it does give him a few awe points. Giyu Tomioka is the Water Hashira, one of the strongest demon hunters in the Demon Slayer core, and we're not gonna lie. His water-based techniques are some of the most elegant and beautiful in the series. What sets him apart from other Hashira is his pragmatism and cool demeanor. He's able to think about many situations rationally, for example, sparing Nezuko instead of immediately treating her as a run-of-the-mill demon. Additionally, he is a strong addition to any team and is able to work seamlessly together with others, a necessary skill to take down many of the stronger demons in the series. Even the upper rank Akaza recognized how powerful Tomioka was and offered to turn him into a demon, which was an extremely rare proposition only given to those deemed worthy of the right. Even if he was a bit of a stick in the mud, Tomioka beats out many of the other Hashida on this list because of what a skillful tactician he is. Although he suffers from an inferiority and guilt complex, he also seems to have one of the most sound moral compasses in the story, which makes him a good role model amongst his peers. This sensitivity, in turn, actually gives him the edge when it comes to the quick decision-making and mind games many demons put the Hashida through mid-battle. Kyojuro Rengoku, aka the Flame Hashira. His Hakama is covered in flames, he uses a flame-breathing technique, his hair is flame-like, he likes spicy food, you get the point. He's the character that had us all wondering after watching Mugen Train, why did they have to make him so dang likable? Incredibly optimistic, a strong fighter, and basically the embodiment of a golden retriever, Rengoku takes the number two spot on our list today. His enthusiasm for his Hashira duties were unmatched, and he went into every battle with just as much passion and pure-hearted energy as the last. Not only is he one of the strongest Hashira, but also a fan favorite across the board. One of Kyojudo's signature moves is a powerful slash that appears as a dragon, carving deeply into the entire surrounding area where he uses it. Also, he's able to use his fire-based techniques to create shields, barriers, and maneuver quickly to evade attacks. During his fight with Akaza, the upper rank 3 demon praised his skills highly, even so much as expressing admiration for Rengoku's strong fighting spirit. He possessed a special extrasensory perception of his surroundings, often detecting his enemy's intent or even specific abilities and weaknesses of the demons he was fighting against. Ultimately, Rengoku was defeated by Akaza during the events of Mugen Train, but not before doing some serious, serious damage on his way out. Finally, that brings us to number one. Gyome Himejima, aka the Stone Hashira, is a total beast in battle, and the strongest demon hunter in the current generation Demon Slayer core. First and foremost, his massive frame sets him apart from the other nine as he towers above them, sporting an extremely muscular build. Now, despite his kind of intimidating look, Gyome is a total sweetheart who is in touch with his emotions. Blind since childhood, his other senses have become extremely heightened to compensate for his lack of sight. Using his superhuman hearing, he's able to detect the subtle movements of his enemies and even discern if they're lying or not due to the tone of their voice. Gyome also wields a massive Nichiren spiked flail and axe, with which he uses the sounds of the chains to determine the trajectory and movement of his weapon. He's also gone up against Kokushibo, who holds the upper rank number one, the strongest ranking under Muzan himself. 
After fighting him on equal ground, Gyome then went on to back Muzan into a corner with his brilliant tactical skills and sheer power. His total mastery of stone breathing further sets him apart from the rest, as his acute hearing and super strength pair into one and maximize his use of his Nichiren axe to the fullest of its potential. He's also able to access the transparent world despite a lack of sight, and therefore can accurately read the situation and make a solid judgment based on factors like blood flow and breathing. Gyome has also been shown manipulating his own blood flow to get the upper hand in his fight against Kokushibo. Often recognized by his peers as the best of the best, Gyome maintains a humble perspective and a clear motivation for taking down some of the most terrifying villains in the series. The total heart of gold is always a plus, but his vast amount of physical strength, dedication, and battle experience make him an easy choice for the number one strongest Hashida in Demon Slayer. So, where do you think some of the former Hashida like Jigoro Kuwajima and Sakonji Orokodaki fall into the list? Be sure to let us know some of your favorite Demon Slayer details in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching. Ooh, uh, but don't miss out on our other anime content! Subscribing and turning on your notifications will give you instant access to all of the newest videos CBR Anime has to offer.